I'm doing this in one stretch, and if I make a mistake, then I can easily cut it out better. Hi! Oh my god, hi people! And it's possibly February by the time this is going up. Sorry. <sighs> yeah. uh, it's nice to break something up. So, I am... I, I, I... Book review! Let's just get on with that, because I have no idea what I'm attempting to say, or even get out. <laughs> so, I just finished Puppy Love by Nancy Kulik. And I actually really liked this book. I had... I, either I had the name, the author name, on my book list thingy there, or I had like the whole thing, this just this book, but anyway, yeah, I really liked this. This was a good book, and like it's about teenagers. Like most of these books are about teenagers or like really young, or, like young adults. Um, yeah, it was so good. I really liked the Alana character and her best friend Stella. I thought Sammy, her boyfriend, like, we were, we, we, you were introduced to Sammy right here. Um, I thought he was going to be, like, a cool guy. Like, he was going to be okay. But then, like, well, at first he was okay, but then he definitely changed. Like, it did say he right here. That he different. And I really did not like him. He just turned out to be really not cool anymore. And yes, I'm wearing a long sleeve. Okay. This was good. And I like, I really like Connor. Connor, like, I'm so good. But you're not introduced to Connor right away. You're introduced to her other friend named Leo. Like, uh, so we know Alana is Alana, Alana is a dog walker and so she had like her best friend Stella is female and known her all her life through school but then she has this other friend who's a little bit older and his name is Leo and he's a dog walker like her like through the dog walking, walking agency and at first I I really I really I love Leo Leo is like I want you to end up with Leo Alana I want you to get together Cause like he he was doing he was being very not open exactly or like out there but he was like dropping hints of like I kind I like you I want to see where this is going to go basically um and like she was a lot of was being such a ditz and and then they uh, I don't mean to spoil but they do kiss and find out they're just friends because like this is a story about Alana and Connor so kind of figure that they're gonna get together because that's what's mentioned back here anyway I really like it and then this got really good like halfway through like it was good it, it was a good story like even just to start with but like, like the first half was like, this is good. It's keeping me engaged, and I want to read this. I definitely want to finish this. But then getting into the second half, it's like, oh my god, I, I can't stop. I couldn't stop reading. Like I just wanted to finish it last night because I seriously had three, four chapters left last night. I did read one, so I had three chapters today, and just it was getting so good. Like what, what was going on in this was just getting so good, especially, um. What was going on with Stella and Leo and I'm leaving it like that so that you can think like maybe they're t they the thing that happened to them together or like two separate things or just yeah just what happens to like them it's just really cool and I really liked how just yeah and you know, there's always going to be confrontation where somehow something splits the two main characters apart. I really wish... Uh, I wish Alana hadn't reacted the way she did. 
Um, but if she had, like, if she had, there wouldn't have been much to the story. But, yeah. It's... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I can't really say anything, or it's gonna spoil it for you, people who want to read this. Like, if you like dog, if you like or love dogs, you should read it. Cause, like, there's not a whole lot about dogs, but there is dogs. Like, it's about, like, the rich people and their dogs in New York. But you don't exactly meet all of the- meet the rich people, it's just, like, dog walkers and, uh, walking people who- walking the rich people's dogs, basically. And just- you find out about certain things, like, uh, polished paws is, like, it's an actual thing because, like, um, the author actually does live in New York, and it says right here, she swears she's never taking- taken him to pa posh poppy. Posh Poppy. Though she has thought about it. So, there is mention of Posh Puppy in here. And, like, it's an actual real thing. So that's pretty interesting. And my dad is vacuuming right now. Yay! <laughs> um, and, like, if you love your teen romance novels, just, this is a good one. Like, anything from the, uh, Simon Pulse, um, Simon Says Teen.com. It's right here. Like, there should be, like, a list of, like, these books on their site. Um, there's actually a list right here. I have, um, how not to spend how not to spend your senior year by Cameron Doki. And I have oh, where Royally Jacked Spin Control and Do Over. It's kind of like it's a it's a trilogy by it's a trilogy of like the two main characters by Nikki Burnham. Let's see, right there at the top. There, and then like, all the way over there. Those ones I do own. And I have, I also have a novel idea, but the last name is an, is an F, so I haven't started reading that, but I eventually will. I, oh, and I also have Cubity, Cubity, whatever, however you want to pronounce that. But that's in G, so I haven't read that yet. And I know I've read other books like this. But I think I have, at least. But I've read five now from this type. And I really like the art done on the books. It's interesting. It's just all very line work. Okay. Mm. I want you to be able to see it. Okay. There we go. This camera's not the best, so I eventually do want to get a new one. But I might get one in the spring. Cause I don't end up I don't usually buy a lot of like summer clothes. I have kind of a lot, but I need to go through them. So hopefully this summer, no, not this spring, maybe turning into summer, I will get a camera that's like, made like a, between like 200 and $400, roughly. I, pro I will have to save up money and attempt at not spending money. <laughs> so I tend to do that, especially when there are sales. But this is a good book. Def like, I'm 25 turning 26 in this October. Like, I still read this stuff. I really like reading this stuff. Um, so, like, definitely teens probably should read this. Uh, dog walk, dog lovers, 
you could read this. I would say you could, you would, might want to read this. It's good and it, it's cute. It's like, I love, I don't, I might end up buying this book. I might. I will keep it on a list and be like, yeah, I might eventually buy it. Like, if I don't buy it at, like, chapters or Cole's, like, stuff, place like that, I will go to Better World Books and buy it there because, like, somehow they always have, like, like, they have, like, older books. And sometimes they're cheaper prices, too, than in the actual bookstore. So, yeah. And my money goes to donating. My money is donated to, like, literacy and library programs and school programs and all that stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, and so that's, that's pretty much for this book. My next book is from an author that I have, like, so many books from. It's V.C. Andrews. Christopher's Diary, Secrets of Foxworth. This is a new kind of series. Like, it's kind of continuing from the uh, with the Dollinganger series, but these are new. The only reason I'm reading this, it, these this new book, is because it's part of the Dollinganger series. Um, and so far, there's only two books. I think there's only two books. But it's... It's about, like, this descendant of, uh, Kathy and Christopher and, like, the Dollingayers. And then she finds, this is just for, like, from a little bit of what I've read before and what I, I remember. She finds, um, Christopher's diaries. I don't know if it's all the diaries, but he, there is at least one book, one diary book, that this, the, the two books that they have for this is uh, about it. Now, they do, you, as, if any of you have read the Dawn Ganger series, they do spend, like, uh, a few years there, and it's, the, the first book that she, the, the descendant is reading is from his time at the house. And then, you know, they, they leave the house and they come back to the house. I don't know if there are any diaries from the days when he, he and Kathy and the kids moved back into the Foxworth house. Oh, Foxworth Hall. Foxworth Hall, that's what it's called. All I know is that it's about his time, his first time living there. So, I am, this is the next book I'm reading. And hopefully it's interesting. There is a second book here, which is called Christopher's Diary, Echoes of Dollinganger. Let's get to reading this part. I can't read this top blue part because all I know is that it's probably private. But then I don't know what that is. Private property? Maybe? Anyway. Maybe I was meant to be the one the one to discover Christopher's diary. It wouldn't be long before I would know the whole truth behind the legend of Foxworth. I picked up the book and continued reading like someone starving for news out from the outside world. Like someone locked me in an attic. I have to be as honest as I can about what I saw what I heard, and especially what I felt, and to put down what I, what really happened to us before and afterward. Kathy used to call us flowers in the attic, withering away. It helped her to think of us that way, but we weren't flowers. We were young, beautiful children who trusted that, trusted that those who loved us would always protect us even better than we could protect ourselves. We weren't the cre creations of someone's imagination. We were we were real flesh and blood. We were locked away by selfish greed and by cruel hearts. How that happened and what became of us is too important to just let it disappear in the dying memories of those who lived it. Alright, now let's get to reading this part. <laughs> the mesmerizing secrets of Flowers in the Attic in Christopher's own words. 
Christopher Dollinganger was 14 when he and his young sibling, younger siblings, Kathy and the twins, Corey and Carrie, were locked away in the attic of Foxworth Hall. See? I told you it was Foxworth Hall. Prisoners of their mother's greedy inheritance scheme. For three long years, he kept hope alive for the sake of the others, but the shocking truth about how their ordeal affected him was always kept hidden until now. <laughs> All right, I'm being silly because I'm trying to be more interactive with you. 17-year-old Kristen, and it's it's my name. It's spelled like my name. K-R-I-S-T-I-N. My name. Masterwood. That's not my last name. Is thrilled when her father's construction company is hired to inspect the Foxworth property for a prospective buyer. The once grand southern mansion still sparked legends and half-truths about the four innocent Dollinganger children, even even all these decades later. Foxworth, hold, Foxworth holds a special fascination for Kristen, who was too young when her mother died to learn much about her distant blood tie to the notorious family. Mm -hmm. Accompanying her dad to the Forbidden Territory, Kristen rescues a leather-bound book tossed aside by the construction crew, its yellow pages filled with the neat script of Christopher Dollinganger himself. Her father grows increasingly uneasy about her reading it, but as she devours the teen's story page by page, his shattering account of his shatter, shattering account of temptation, heartache, courage, and betrayal overtakes Kristen's every, Kristen's every thought. And soon her obsession with the doomed boy crosses a dangerous line. That's it. One of the most popular authors of all time, V.C. Andrews, has been a best-selling phenomenon since the publication of Flowers in the Attic, first in the renowned Dollinganger family saga, which includes Petals on the Wind, If There Be Thorns, Seeds of Yesterday, and Garden of Shadows. Today, more than 70 years of set more than 70 of V.C. Andrews' novels have sold worldwide and been translated into 45 foreign languages. Yeah. And here are all the book series. Wait, there we go. It's like, seriously, okay, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21 series and four standalone novels. I have and complete series of The Dollingangers, The Castile Family, Castile, The Cutler, The Landry, it's L-A-N-D-R-Y. So I'm guessing it's Landry. Logan, orphan series, orphan miniseries. So it's four different girls and then one book with all four of them together. The Wildflowers miniseries. Hudson Family, Shooting Star series. The De Beers Family. And the Gemini series. There is a series before the Gemini, which is called Broken Wings, but... I never got that because uh, it, the um, it was part of the new thing, and I already had Celeste, which was um, it seemed to be printed in like the original print of like the cover art print of like all those other the other ones that I mentioned before. So yeah. <laughs> And for some reason, the di this diary series, with for for this one here, it seems to be pu not part of the Dollinganger saga for some reason. Anyway, and I have one of the 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 first standalone novel, which is called My Sweet Audrina. That is like what all of these all of these book series are like. They shock you so much by what she, by what V.C. Andrew wrote. It's, holy crap. And that's just all in one book. In, like, all the series, you have, like, all this, all the series, 
all the original series, these new ones are very short, but all the original series, like the Doll and Gangers, Castile, the Cutler, Landry, Logan, the Orphan, Wildflowers, Huts, and Shooting Stars, De Beers, they're all five books. So, like, you have four books about the main character, which is uh, a female, and then you have the last book is about the past. So it's usually about like um, like the mother or the grandmother or um, an aunt. Like with the Logan family, the fifth book is that it's about um, the girl's grandmother's sister. Yeah. <laughs> And, um, the, the Hudson Family series, it's only four books, so there's three about the main female, and the fourth book is actually about her daughter. And the, um, the, the miniseries, as I said, four books are about four different girls, and then the fifth one is a book about all of them, and it's... How do I say this? Um, it's written in the first, written in the third person about the one of the girls. So, in the Runaways, uh, the third book is about a girl named Brooke. Brooke, it's in Brooke's point of view, third person point of view, about the, them running away. Uh, Wildflowers is actually uh, the last book. She, it's in her point of view. And in Shooting Stars, I believe it's in the point of view of the last one too. I think. Yeah. And then pretty much the all the other ones are eaten. Mo the majority of them are about the main girls, main girls, like the main girl of the series. It's about her mother, um, but the Cutler family, it's actually about the grandmother, and the Dollinganger series is about, okay. The Dollinganger, the last book, is about the grandmother. Castile is about, book is about the mother. The Cutler family is about the mother. The Landry series about the mother. The Logan family is about the that thing that I told you, like the girl's grandmother's sister. It's about that woman. And then the Orphan miniseries is, yeah. The Hudson family is about the daughter. The De Beers is about... Okay, there's that two, okay, there's three, okay, okay, the, the De Beers is a little more complicated because there's, okay, the first two books are about the main character, the third book is about uh, her daughter, the fourth book is about her mother, and the fifth book is written in her father's hand when she, her mother, when him and her mother first met. Because he was a doctor and she was kind of went a little insane for some, like, something, hap something happened to her mother in the fourth book to make her go to the, um, to make her go to an institute. And, the, like, the fourth book is in her father's hand, telling her how he met her mother. The Gemini, it's a very short one, it's only three books. The first two is about the mother, and the second one is about the daughter. So, and Audrey is about the main girl. So, uh, Chapters called Early Days. And this is where I am going to leave you because I've been talking about this for a good little while. And I, won't, I want, I am finally putting Christmas gifts.
Christmas gifts. What am I doing about Christmas gifts? I'm putting the Christmas decorations away now, finally. And my light is dying, so I probably should end my book review here. Because I want to get that stuff put away. Because I have new stuff that I took that I got from my grandma's that she was giving away. And she would rather give them give me her stuff away for free instead of me buying the stuff at the Holly Fair. So once I get all of our stuff that we've already gotten before put away first and then see how to fit in the, uh, the new stuff. And I'm going to continue watching um, Ingrid Nielsen's vlog channel to catch up where I left off with her last vlog. Let's get some light on me. I believe that's it. And I'm going to get going. Please excuse me for my my the videos before this because uh, when I was cutting them well editing them I am still learning how to do that and how to cut them properly because like I when I did them I kind of started and stopped this is the, 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 the bit like cam and now I'm really realizing that I, I should just let it play and then if like I stop or make a mistake then I'll just like pause and then restart what I wanted to do, or at least try to work out for my brain or just do random stuff and then get back to the thing so that I can edit it that way. So, for now, this is, my webcam is going to be my camera, and my editing program is going to be Windows Media, Windows Movie Maker. I eventually do want to get a new movie editor, but first, I'm going to get the camera, because that's the more expensive thing, and I want to start doing vlogs, and I want to do this nail art that I thought of the desi this design for the Winona Peach Festival. And I watched this nail art person on YouTube do this like reindeer design and I wanted to think and I was like oh, I have the perfect idea for that I want to do something so it's like but I can't do those videos properly with this I need an I need a I need something else I need to be able to do better stuff I need to be able to see but I need to be able to see myself doing the video so Yeah. So. Okay. So, I'm going to get going. And I'm going to... I don't know how to end. I'm also trying to work on how to end videos properly. Like, for some videos, I know how to end properly. But I don't know how to end certain videos. So, I'm just going to say bye. <laughs> Instead of like going up and down, down with the keyboard. Yeah, this is going to be. I I, I don't know what I'm talking about. It worked. Yeah. But I had I probably took some time to. I was just doing my nose like this. Um. Yes. <laughs> Yes, I'm wearing a long sleeve and with on top of this because my even though this was supposed to keep me keep my arms warm, it's not really keeping me warm. So I have this on. But I have this cool lacy, not really lace, but it looks like lace. It's just a stitching over top of some mesh on top of a kind of like see-through muscle top thing. I don't really know how to do this, but we will. Do stuff. Yeah. And it's not fun hunching over. I need to keep my spine straight. Oh my god, I'm hungry. Freaking hungry. And not like for dinner, I'm just kind of hungry like this.
and I had breakfast and lunch. And then you have to eat a snack because I'm about to have dinner soon.